All right, are we ready to go? Yeah. Are you ready to go? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Awesome. I'm totally um, normal. It's fine. Me too. So okay. I'm sure we'll even out. Okay. okay. Um, so Time Magazine recently called you the low-key movie star of our time. Oh my God. <laughs> With your increased popularity and your obvious acting range, how do you decide what projects you get to choose? I'm really starting off with a hard hitter. Heavy hitter. Um, <laughs> how do I decide? Uh, I guess, well, it's like two things. I mean, it's like two pronged. One is obviously just if the script, like the script, and like if it's, if I like it, if I think it's like a good script, it always starts with the script. And then, well, maybe three prongs, like script, character, um, it's always kind of, yeah, like I guess I'm always, I'm, I get bored really easily, so I'm always kind of like trying to find a new, like another character that I, that is doing something that, that I haven't done before, even though um, it's hard to do that. Like, uh, and then also I think I have like a weird thing where it's kind of like whatever I choose to do is also kind of tied into like what's going on with me in my actual life. Like mm -hmm. if I'm like how I'm feeling or something like almost like energetically like if I want to like bring in something like kind of dark and twisted or if I'm like just feeling kind of like no like I need like lightness and I need to like laugh and just like have fun or I don't know it's like sometimes I make decisions like based on I don't know just like where I'm at that's super valid. I think I probably do that more often than I do. Yeah. Um, on like a similar note, so you got your break from a comedy like Parks and Recreation, but you since expanded your roles to like more serious drama, such as your lead in Emily the Criminal. Um, how have you been able to get yourself outside of like the typecast box of like April Ludgate type dryness? I mean, it's it's uh, it's like hard. It feels like it's just a it's kind of the a matter of just. Um, constantly making like weird left turns like um, and not just doing the easy thing because I think once he, like I noticed after I was on parks like I would get offered so many things that were in that same wheelhouse and I could do that but I just kind of I don't know it's like kind of just all about challenging yourself and then also I'm kind of a little bit of a workaholic at least I have been like the past 10 years so I think just the amount of jobs that I've done has helped me a little bit get out of that box because I just bounce around and just try to do as much stuff as I can um but you never know like who's I don't know you never know like who's gonna actually see the stuff that you're doing and mm -hmm. if they're gonna act actually care because I can do all these like independent films that I'm like, that I think like, oh, this is like a totally different kind of character, but then people don't really see, see them. <laughs> and then yeah. they just still, um, oh, sorry. They still think, uh, yeah, they just like still kind of think of the most popular thing that you've, you've done mm -hmm. or whatever. So I don't know, it's just about, but it, yeah, I think I just, it's just about trying to surprise people and kind of do the unexpected. Thing. Yeah, that's cool. We're getting into like some more exciting questions, like less like okay. methody questions. Oh, uh, whatever. I, um, <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> um, so, is there an album, song, or musical artist that you felt defined your early twenties? Whoa, um, my early twenties. Um, shit, that's a that's a really good question. Um, I don't know, maybe like, um, this sucks. I don't want to pick just one album. <laughs> um, hold on, I'm thinking, um, what did I used to listen to? It's like weird because I listen to the same shit all the time, but um, I don't know. I I listen to really old music. I I probably was like listening to like <sighs> Talking Heads and like Radiohead a lot when I was in my early twenties. But like I don't know what album I would pick. Um, also like David Bowie's like 
low album was definitely a thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm really so bad at fav like picking one thing. That's a hard yeah. question. Um, so you've been pretty vocal in interviews about your dabbling with like witchy and spiritual spiritual practices. Yeah. Um, are there any rituals like whether or not they're spiritual or not that you practice before like a performance or an interview like this? Uh, mm. Well, and I'm not think I've done like rituals before like interviews, but I've done, I don't know. I definitely, before I start a movie, I, I usually kind of, I don't want really to talk about drugs, but um, <laughs> are you allowed to talk about mushrooms or no? Don't go for it, right? Yeah. There's oh, no, I don't there's know. no sense. We're a college radio newspaper. We talk about whatever we want to talk about. Oh, okay. Well, this is just. I mean, I wouldn't call this like a witchy ritual or anything, mm -hmm. but I, which I, I think, um, I don't know. Some like before I start like a movie or something, especially if I've like just come off of something else. Like I definitely like to do some kind of like reset kind mm -hmm. of thing and I have in the past like done like kind of by myself like gone to a place and done like a mushroom kind of ritual mm -hmm. by myself just to kind of shift my kind of yeah you know thinking and like kind of like just get rid of some baggage because a lot of the stuff that I do is like it takes a while for me to like shake it off um but like witchcraft wise um, I mean, I, 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 it's kind of random and moon based, I mm -hmm. guess. So yeah. I usually kind of get lucky sometimes if there's like a super moon or like some kind of, you know, cosmic event happening and then I'll, I'll kind of like piggyback on that and, and use it and try to kind of harness the energy of that into whatever I'm, whatever I'm doing. But, um. I don't know any like standard rituals for interviews, but now yeah. that you've said that, I won't wish I did. That's fine. I listen to Shoop on my way here. That's typically what I do. Okay. I know every word of Shoop. So okay. I love that's that. That's like one. Do you find that like when it like hits on like a super moon or whatever, that like that's good luck for a project, or are you just like this is awesome? I mean, kind of. Wait, this one just happened actually. Um, I just finished uh, shooting White Lotus season two mm -hmm. in Sicily, and. I believe we wrapped on the last super moon of the year. It was like July 14th or something. And it was like an insane moon. Like it was like really, really, really powerful and crazy. And, um, and the shoot was also like very intense and stuff. So like, I don't know, it just felt kind of like it made sense or something. Like a chapter ending? That sounds yeah. really like spiritual. Yeah. Um, okay. If you had a chance to replace any actor for their character in a film, what role would you play? A little lighter. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh. Oh my God, so many, so many people. Um, um, I don't know, this is like super just like fresh in my mind, but have you seen Irma Vep? I know of Okay, it. so Irma Vep is like a new series by this, is this guy Oliver Assays, but it's on HBO and um, Alicia Vikander plays that part mm -hmm. and it's a really, really good part. I don't know, I just finished watching it and I was like, that's a really good fucking role. I would totally do that part. Um, I'm just saying that because it's like the last thing I thought of. But I mean, I don't know. Any, like, just maybe like, like um, Julianne Moore and like Boogie Nights or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I could do something like that or like Sigourney Weaver and like Alien. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Like that would be cool. Um, so in like a similar light, I guess, are there any projects that you passed on that looking back you wish you hadn't or like a role that you feel like got away? Um... Mm, not really, because I feel like with, mo like, I don't know. I feel like I don't have a lot of regrets in that area because I feel like everything's like happens for a reason. Like there's like a reason why, like for some reason I like 
didn't do a movie or mm -hmm. whatever. I don't know. Like, I have curiosity about it, but I don't have, like, a regret where I'm like, oh, damn, I should have done that. Like, I'm pretty sure I was offered the part in um, Palm Springs, that random Oh, movie. whoa. Um, I know. It's a nice movie. But I love um, Christina. Yeah, she's, she's awesome. She's awesome. Like, she's Anything so, she does, I'm like... Yeah, like, she's great. But, and, but that was one that I think, like, it was almost like a timing thing. I feel like there's, like, certain things like that where, like... I remember like there was a moment where I was like, am I going to do that movie? But then I did Black Bear instead. Oh, a very different. Which is very different, <laughs> which is like goes back to the thing of where I'm like, at that point in my summer, I was like, I need to like go dark. Like I'm going dark. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But like that movie's great. No, but yeah. I sometimes I'm like, huh, I wonder what it would it have would have been like if I had like done that instead of Black Bear and it would have been like a totally different Yeah, that would have been a, a like very a, different movie I feel like if yeah. you were playing that part. We were all we were at Sundance together, those movies. At the same time. So it was like this like weird parallel universe where I was like, that's a really different vibe. <laughs> but Yeah. Okay. Um do we have time for one more, you think? Yeah. I think I so mean, too. We don't, we're not being chaperoned. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. We're not. <laughs> you can say anything now. Yeah. Who is the chaperone for? <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, there was someone like a part of the group that uh, runs yeah, these yeah. things, but she she, she like, left. Hard, so. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, the emails. We, we, like, we thought that this was like like a top secret. You're like no photos. Yeah. No video. Why? Uh, <laughs> I don't. You're asking. Oh, yeah. Um, so, okay, are there, I guess my last question for you is like, are there any actors, directors, or writers that are up and coming right now that you like specifically want to work with, or I guess like a better for you would be like admire or excited about? Um, like up and comers, um, like new people. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be a new person. Like, I also think that new is probably a different definition for us as, like, normal people. I hate it. Sorry, that's a bad word. But, like, you, like, you probably are, like, well aware of people who, like, people who we would consider up and coming because we aren't in, like, the film sphere or, like, right. the acting sphere are probably like old news to you but like they're really like I'm thinking like Cooper Rife is probably someone who like oh, you've right, known right, of right, for right, a really right, long right. time but really is up and coming right now yeah yeah um got it um I'm trying to think like if there's yeah I mean I think there's like cool people like that are doing cool shit like Anna Lily Amanpour I think is cool like she has a movie coming out. This guy, Ali Abbasi, who's um, Danish, Swedish. Um, he made this movie called Border that's like one of my favorite movies ever. And I want to work with him. And um, I don't know, like, um, I just saw the trailer for, apparently Kevin Klein's son, Owen Klein, has a movie that's coming out called Funny Pages. And I watched the trailer for it, and I was like, this guy is like our new, like, Woody Allen, minus all the, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, yeah. minus all the, just, like, just separated all yeah. the personal shit, but, mm -hmm. like, Woody Allen movie, Woody Allen, mm -hmm. director Woody Allen. Um, really, really interested to see his shit. I, like, think he's, looks really interesting. Um, and, I don't know. That's great. Um, I think I'm good with my questions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was quick. Yeah.